you are. And that's enough for today. Thank you. Niccolo. Hmm? I don't want to keep on about this, but when are you going to start practicing? A lot of day. There's plenty of time. But you haven't played for months. You must don't try. Don't worry, Bianchi. But I do worry. We all worry. You're so changed. Once your music was your whole life. I don't understand. Oh, I'm sorry, Bianchi. I know I'm being selfish keeping you here when you should be going on with your singing. But... I wasn't thinking about that. You know I love being here with you. Your health, Signor? We mustn't let him cancel any more concerts, Signor. No. no. Don't you realize it's costing us money? 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 money. I agree. I refuse to allow him to ruin us for so trifling a cause. Yes. No. He I gives don't. up work. And why? Because of a mere scratch. That has nothing whatever to do with it. If you'll forgive me, Signor. Something entirely different. But, Niccolo, for my sake, please try. All right. Slave driver. Thank you. The fact is, Niccolo is lazy. He must be made to work. I go and see him. No. <laughs> Some more wine. still in love with her, aren't you? No, I'm not. What do you mean? Jeanne, you were playing to her then. That was her music. That's my music. From my head and my hands. I wrote it and I played you here. I played for myself. Niccolo, it's Jeremy, your friend. Don't pretend to me. You've been more hurt by Jeanne than that scratch on your arm. Jeanne, Jeanne, Jeanne. Can't you talk of anything except Jeanne? I played her. I'm hurt by everything. I'm a child to be hurt by nothing. Leave me alone. No, I'm telling you what's wrong with you. Why you can't play that. Jeanne played you, sir. But well, you could if you forgot Jeanne. If you could get your heart and mind back, then you'd play. Why don't you try? I do try, Jenny. I try all the time, but it isn't any good. All the music reminds me of it, every note. I try, but I can't keep her out of the music. Now listen to me. You're behaving like a spoiled child. You're a genius. Your heart has been hurt, your mind has been hurt. All right, that's happened to many people before. Are you going to be like all the others? Are you going to sit here moping about it for the rest of your life? I'm disappointed in you. Talking? Why are you talking? You must work. Do you hear? Work. I've been patient with you, Niccolo, patient enough. Get back to work. There's nothing wrong with you that work won't cure. Antonio, don't bully him. Niccolo's arm will be well again soon, won't it, Niccolo? It's not my arm, Mother. That's, that's nothing. You better understand. I, I'm well enough. I've no heart for playing. I, I have no faith in myself anymore. But you will have, Niccolo. You will get your faith back again. Well, of course he will. He must. It's in the hands of Providence, my son. And when the call comes, then you'll play again. Signorina Bianchi to see you, mademoiselle. Show her in. You wish to see me, signorina? Once again, mademoiselle, I have come to ask your help. Won't you sit down? Thank you, no. What I have to say will take very little time. I had to see you, mademoiselle. You're the only person who can help me. Help you, signorina? It's because of Niccolo. He's... The wound in his arm. It wasn't serious. He's not ill. Oh, no. The wound has healed. But he's lost the desire to play. Oh, no. I don't believe it. Oh, it's madness. Surely he could be persuaded. His mother, his father. Jeremy, yourself. Mm. 
We've all tried. It's no use. And so you want me? Yes, mademoiselle. There must be many ways, so very many ways open to you, with your power and influence. I've never brought him anything but unhappiness. If I see Niccolo now, it'll mean more misery for all of us. What does that matter if you can give a great artist back to the world? You love him, don't you? In a way you would never understand. Are you so sure of that? Yes. Because I love him enough to risk losing him forever. I love him too. And I have lost him forever. Will you help him? You don't know what you're asking, Signorina. Mademoiselle, I am humbly begging you to save. To give back to the world the man you're supposed to love. You may rest assured. I shall do everything in my power to make Niccolo play again. Niccolo, we've reached the pinnacle of fame at last. Listen to this. I have been commanded by His Holiness to summon you to an audience and to give a violin recital at the Vatican Palace at three o'clock on the 9th of April. Let me see. It's happened, Niccolo. It's the hand of divine providence, my son. Niccolo, this is a command. You cannot, you dare not refuse. Stay at the Vatican. What if I fail, Jeremy? I fail. You'll not fail, my son. And we shall be there, Niccolo. All of us. Willing the old magic back to your bow. So many fiddlers to choose from. I wonder why they pick on Paganini and then command us to be present. Paul, dear, in this land of music, you must try and hide the fact that you were brought up in England. All the same, I still wish that it wasn't Paganini. rather trouble. I must be a much better manager than I realized. 